Okay. Just let me just highlight it over here. This is type one. Where outputs are unequal. Okay. That is standard output is not equal to actual. This is the first type. Okay. Then I told you what is to be done. Okay. Then we did this type of sum. Type 2. Okay. Where output was not given. Output not given. Output not given. So what we did, we assume it to be equal. Okay. Again, type 1. Today also I am going to do type 1 with you. Just go through this question. Okay. <clears throat> now, what is the speciality in the question? Yeah. Uh, question number 8. The nation company produce an article by mixing two inputs. Matlab two raw materials. Okay, see. So, raw material 1, raw material 2, X and Y. The following standards have been set up for the input. Take care. They are saying the standard mix. This is something new. Standard mix is 40% and 60% respectively. Standard price is given to you. 4 rupees and 3 rupees. The standard loss in processing is 15%. Okay. During December 2006, the company produced 1700 kgs of finished output. The actual position of inputs were as follows. So this is my actual output. Actual output there 1700 kgs. Okay. And this is my raw material in kgs. Rate 30 and 1190. Okay. rate This is the actual rate. 4 rupees 25 paisa and 2 rupees 50 paisa per kg. Okay. Is the question clear? Okay, the standard output is not given in this sum. They can actual output there. Okay, so what do we do? The question is that. Okay. So let us start right now here. Actual output diya hai aapko. Kitna? 1700 kgs. Okay. Next right now. Standard output is not given. Okay. But standard mix is given. Okay. So, standard output we don't know. But standard mix, matlab standard quantity. Standard mix is given. Okay. No. So, if this is not given, what you will do? Assume. Assume standard output to be 100 kgs. Okay. Then see. Okay. 100 kgs assume. Kar. Okay. You have product raw material X, raw material Y. How much it is? 40% and 60%. Okay. So 40% of what? So this is my input. Hai. So just see what I am doing. Then. Okay. I don't, I have to calculate standard output. Okay. I don't have output. Nahi hai, but I have information. To hai. So assume standard input 100 kgs. 
standard input then i'll tell you what to do okay so 40% of 100 kg is how much 40 kg and 60% of 100 kg is how much 60 kg theek hai theek hai now see tumne raw material dala i mean standard input dala raw material ka kitna 100 kilo dala theek hai usme se ye log bol rahe there is a loss see here standard loss in processing is 15% okay तो तुमने रॉ मटेरियल डाला 100 के जी ठीक है उसमें से 15 परसेंट का लॉस हो गया 15 परसेंट लॉस तो कितना हुआ 15 के जी ठीक है 100 माइनस फिफ्टीन इज एटी फाइव So this eighty-five kg is my standard output. Is this logic clear? ये समझ में आया? Acknowledge it in the chat box. ये logic समझ में आया? Standard output नहीं दिया है. बट इन्फॉर्मेशन दिया स्टैंडर्ड मिक्स का सो यू लज्यूम दैट स्टैंडर्ड इनपुट इज हंड्रेड के जीज के तुमने से हंड्रेड के जीज का रॉ मटेरियल डाला फिफ्टीन परसेंट प्रोसेस लॉस हो गया ओके तो बाकी बाकी कितना बचा एटी फाइव के जीज नो दिस स्टैंडर्ड लॉस विच हैज हैपन इट मे हैपन ड्यू टू एड नॉर्मल रीजन और नॉर्मल रीजन ओके So now what has happened? Standard output is eighty-five kgs, है ना? Now start with your step one. Okay, what is step one to check whether output is equal or not? So standard output I just got eighty-five kgs. Okay, this is the working mode that I have done. So from working mode number one, actual output is seventeen hundred kgs. Therefore, standard output is not equal to actual output. Therefore, revise the standards. What do you mean by revising the standards? That is, you have to make it equal. Standard output equal to actual output equal to seventeen hundred kgs. Okay, it means this. So this is important. Okay, so what are we doing? Yes, we are again in type one sums where, yeah. Where standard output is not given. is not given okay fine Is it clear till here? Step one, acknowledge it in the chat box. This working note is clear. What has to be done? Okay, here you just write standard mix is given. Just a minute, I'm just yeah. Standard mix is given. That's it. Forty percent and sixty percent. So now it's a sum on material, so we will make a material cost statement. Okay, yeah. 
So let us make a material cost statement. There are two raw materials with you. Just wait here. Raw material type. Given standards. Raw material type, then you have your given standards. Okay, my standard output is how much? 85. I just got this answer 85 kgs. Then quantity, rate, and amount. Okay, draw this. This is the red color. This is the amount. Next, revise standards. I have revised my standards to 1700 kgs. Same quantity, rate, amount. And the last column, actual score, quantity, rate, and note. Actuals. So my actual output is now equal. 1700 kgs, quantity, rate and amount okay next just substitute the values that is given in the question okay Start with raw material X, raw material Y. 830, 1190. Okay, actuals. We are here. 830 and 1190. Rate is how much? 4.25 and 2.5. 4.25 and 2.5 next standard rate 4 rupees and 3 rupees 4 rupees and 3 rupees and given standards were 40 kgs and 60 kgs this we got from the working group Okay. Yeah. The last we will score total currently. Yeah. So right here total. Okay. This is hundred. This is one sixty. Multiply yeah? one eighty. Okay. Next. Eight thirty. Eight thirty into four point two five. 3527.5 keep it as it is a eh? 3527.5 don't round off yeah next 1190 into 2.5 2975 2975 okay total it 3527.5 6502.5 6 Zero two point five. Next, eight thirty plus one one nine zero. 
0.2020 okay like this fine 160 plus 180 is 340 okay. so once you're done with this you have to revise your standards yeah, Devanshu, very good. Chalo, now let us revise our standards. So, working note number two, revise standards. Okay. First, let us revise for X. Okay. So, 85 kgs ke liye, how much raw material I need? 40 kgs. Okay, so this is output, this is my raw material quantity. Hai. So for 1700 kgs ka output, how much raw material I need? Cross multiply. 1700 into 40 divided by 85. The answer is 800. So right here 800. Okay, similarly do it for Y. For an output of 80 kg, 85 kgs, my Y ka raw material is 60 kgs. So for 1700 kgs, how much? Okay, so 1700 into 60 divided by 85. So my answer is 1200. So right here, 1200. Okay, so right here, 800 and 1200. Okay. So this answer we got from working note number 2. Since it's a short run concept, rates will not change. It will be 4 rupees and 3 rupees respectively. Okay, so this total is now 2000. 8 fours are 32. So 3200. 12 into 336. So 3600. Okay, total is 6800. Okay, so is the table clear to everyone? This is called as material cost statement. Material cost statement. Okay, so this completes my step one. Step one, samaj me aaya sabke? Acknowledge it in the chat box. Is step one clear to everyone? There will be slight variations in every sum that I pick up. Huh? Yeah. Okay. So step one ho gaya. Sabse easy cheese. Now come to step two. That is calculation of formulas. Okay. So that we will do here. I'm writing it here. Step two. Calculation of formulas. Calculation of formulas. Okay. This first one is material cost variance. Total standard cost minus total actual cost. Let us go to the statement from where only we will get. Here. Okay. Here are total ka column. So this is my total standard cost and this is my total actual cost. Okay. 6800 and 6502.5. So 6800 minus 6502.5. Okay. Take it on Kelsey. So it's coming 297.5 positive. 297.5 F. Okay. So this is my first answer. Next. Material rate variance or price variance. Standard rate minus actual rate into 
actual quantity okay so here are mera standard rate let me just highlight this is standard rate ka column sorry now i will not consider this we have revised standards na just a minute yeah. we have revised standards here this is standard rate here okay and this is actual rate ka column here actually okay you write it down now okay for it standard rate and actual rate 4 and 4.25 so write here for x and y Four and four point two five. Next is three and two point five. Three and two point five. Then multiply it with the actual quantity. So this is my actual quantity ka column. Here, actual quantity, and this is standard. Okay. आई रिपीट ये आपका स्टैंडर्ड रेट है ये रहा स्टैंडर्ड रेट ये आपका एक्चुअल रेट है ये रहा एक्चुअल रेट ठीक है तो है एक्चुअल क्वांटिटी इज एट थर्टी एंड वन वन नाइन जीरो एट थर्टी एंड वन वन नाइन जीरो सॉल्व इस Four minus four point two five into eight thirty two zero seven point five. It's negative, so write A. Next, three minus two point five into one one nine zero five ninety five F. Solve this. Okay, plus minus is minus. Okay. So five ninety five minus two zero seven point five three eighty seven point five three eighty seven point five F. Okay. Yeah, very good, Devanshi. Then third material usage variance standard quantity minus actual quantity into standard rate. Same x and y because I have two raw materials with me. My standard quantity is how much? Eight hundred and twelve hundred. Okay, eight hundred and twelve hundred minus eight thirty and one one nine zero. Okay, multiplied with the standard rate four rupees and three rupees. Yeah. Okay, solve this. So eight hundred minus eight thirty. Eight hundred minus eight thirty into four. One twenty. It's coming negative. So a. Twelve hundred minus one one nine zero into three. So thirty rupees. It's coming f positive. So plus minus is minus. So this is ninety. Ninety a. ठीक है नेक्स्ट इज वॉट मटीरियल मिक्स वेरेंस बट इट इज नॉट इन योर सिलेबस तो वी विल नॉट कैलकुलेट दैट सो आई कम टू द नेक्स्ट वन दैट इज मटीरियल ईल्ड वेरेंस ओके टोटल स्टैंडर्ड क्वान्टिटी माइनस टोटल एक्चुअल क्वान्टिटी इन टू एवरेज स्टैंडर्ड रेट ओके सो टोटल स्टैंडर्ड क्वान्टिटी Look into the total standard quantity. Here, this is called as my total standard quantity. This is called as my total actual quantity. Okay, 
2000 minus 2020 and how will you get your standard rate average standard rate yeah 6800 divided by 2000 okay simple average standard rate kaise milta hai total standard cost divided by total standard quantity okay right now solve it 2000 minus 2020 into 6800 divided by 2000. So the answer is 68F. Sorry, the negative are in A. A. Okay. Yeah, very good, Devanshi. So this is material yield variance. This time I have a shortcut. Bhi tha. Yes. What is your standard rate? Standard rate is how much? 4 and 3. So, I have told you how much average standard rate can be found. 4 plus 3 divided by 2. 2 raw material. Na? Yeah. So, 4 plus 3 is 7. 7 divided by 2 is how much? 3.5. Okay. So, this is also one of the ways of calculating average standard rate. Okay. 3.5. Now, this is the cost check. Kar ke dek sakte ho. 2000 minus 2020 into 3.5. Okay, you can do it this way also. 2000 minus 2020 into 3.5. 70. Okay, 2 rupees ka difference. Hai. So, actually, the first formula which I'm, I taught you, this one, this gives you the more accurate answer. Okay, mm -hmm. this formula is accuracy. Kam deta hai. I'm not saying this is wrong, but in terms of accuracy, yeah, it will give you a little bit 1 rupee, 2 rupees ka difference. Yesterday also I showed you because 3 rupees ka difference tha. Yesterday the formula that we had to see. Either 163 tha by using the first way and the other way say we were getting 160. Am I clear about this? Samaj mein aaya? Everyone? Is this clear? Yeah. Got it? So nothing is wrong. I have just taught you the other way also for that. How to calculate the average standard rate. Okay? So you should know the technique. That, that is the point. Okay? That's it. It's done. Now I will do the last step. That is step 3. To verify the answer. Okay, verification. So, what will you verify? I will first verify the first equation that is material cost variance is equal to material rate variance plus material usage variance. Okay, so what is this? My LHS should be equal to RHS. So, what is my rate variance? Rate variance ka answer kitna? 387.5 okay so right here 387.5 what is the answer of usage we just got 90a okay this is f and this is 90a yeah okay so plus minus is minus whatever so minus curve. 387.5 minus 90. How answer? 297.5. Check karo. material cost variance. Yeah, my answer is 297.5. That means my LHS is equal to my RHS. Okay. I'll just write here. 297.5 second equation <coughs> will not tell you obviously reason material usage variance is what material mix variance plus material yield variance Hamare pas mix variance nahi hai because up close syllabus mein nahi hai. okay so if you solve karte to you add karke 
आपको ये आंसर मिलता ठीक है इसलिए द सेकेंड इक्वेशन फॉर योर इज नॉट पॉसिबल अंडरस्टूड क्लियर एवरी वन इज द होल क्वेश्चन क्लियर टू एवरी वन next lecture a different sum so join with the same meeting id